like you literally almost can't intercept the ball unless you like prime time coming from across the field and you can get the most it's crazy you can get the most dramatic interceptions but you cannot get the interception we throw it right at your face you he won't even protect himself the ball just go right through your forehead and then you you got it there so it is what it is man pause but Come on. Good morning, I did 2K Land, man. Check this out, man. That's always full transparency on the videos. We dropped two videos yesterday, and we just talked about some things. One of them was our podcast. Hey, look, we got great first effort on the podcast. 400 likes and uh, 4,000 views. Y'all guys are the absolute greatest when it comes to that type of stuff, man. Hey, it's an hour long, so, you know, and I dropped it right after I dropped this video, which y'all absolutely destroyed with the like button. Hey, 9.6 thousand views, 140, uh, you know, comments, 737 likes, man. Y'all boys are the absolute greatest. Hey, we trying to get to that thousand like threshold or whatever. Let's try to do that, but to do that, we gotta get to 1,500 likes within the first 2,000 views, I mean, uh, two, 200 likes within the first 1,500 views uh, for YouTube to put it out there. Make sure y'all keep doing y'all thing, man. If y'all keep doing y'all thing, I'm gonna keep doing my thing with the Know They Gang wall of fame, man. Y'all boys came through in big, yes, yes, big time fashion on that video. He says, hey, watching while at work, where you at, man? Look at everybody out there, man. Oh, God. Hey, I'm gonna tell your boss. Hey, look at everybody out there. <laughs> Y'all some funny people, man. Also on the next video, man, he say, yes. Hey, grab yourself a brew. No, the game. We got all of that stuff, man. This is dope. Some people saying we need to make sure we do that weekly, and it is going to be a weekly deal, man. So that's two videos. And then the top comments, man. Hey, listen, man. He says, I like all, I like all three like this. Best vids on 2k in a minute man I said hey best way to best way to learn shit somebody says best way to learn shooting is to play my career on pro or all-star preferably on all-star that was patrick our uh, first one was blue um next we got next we got uh willie came he said at at the at this point we just pay we just pay them um every year to be beta testers so that the game can be good right before uh next next beta release wow y'all <laughs> crazy man he says i'm doing i'm doing like i'm 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 doing like no life and no money spent uh it's killing me the grind is real and last but not least the theater most deaf is the best mode for me uh right now having fun and i'm having a lot of fun man and now that's the rest of we talking about all that man so we're gonna get into the meat and potatoes of the video but before we get started like i said make sure y'all like the video and comment y'all thoughts down below y'all know we're trying to go to the moon my voice still gone a little bit, man, but nobody told y'all this today. Y'all my brothers, my sisters, my family. I love each and every last one of y'all. Like I said, make sure y'all hit that like button. We got to get to 200 likes within the first 1,500 views so that we can make sure we get into the YouTube algorithm. And without further ado, yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town, coming to you live with another video, man. We just going to start the video out with the Xbox versus um playstation debate and uh talks had a tournament last night he just says both team in the stage tournament finals are xbox no surprise and uh you know he says hey, it's over now but he said where are we watching it at or what have you and hey somebody he got the xbox uh xbox greater than uh playstation and, and then to see that right there we got chad right here chad says Chad says, these are the top two Pro-Am teams. Hilarious, but Xbox greater than PlayStation. And what he's meaning by that is, when we click on this, you're going to see. Hey, it's, it's, it's obviously, it's going to be an MTMB, Solo TMB, Chad TMB, J. Curry TMB. But the Xbox, uh, you know, they just ran through them, man. So y'all got to let me know, man. Because I, I know I heard a lot of big talk when the game was released, right? And uh, before it was released, uh, the PlayStation is going to be running over Xbox and it's just going to be Xbox people are going to be be trying to uh, duck smoke and Xbox people not going to be want to play. And to be honest with y'all, and I'm going to be completely, completely dead honest with y'all, the uh, only people I've heard even talk about how to disable, asking how to disable crossplay or even the notion of disabling crossplay has been PlayStation people. Now, it could be because, uh, I think a lot of that is because the PlayStation people, um, 
they get a lot more lag in the parts and stuff like that because sometimes when we're playing and and they're chopping i'm not chopping at all and it could just be because xbox is 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 different hardware and um and and like i said it's 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 more powerful hardware that's it ain't really no other way to say it man it is what it is um even though the game is built for and on playstation but if you got dissimilar hardware and one is running harder or or better or what have you whatever you want to call it it's just more powerful uh, hardware then it, it's going to be able to do some of the things that the other one is not able to do like handle the uh shadows and stuff like that which i still think they need to take out of the game because nobody wants to see that in rise nobody wants to see any of that but it, there are sometimes like i said where where uh i'll play with my playstation people and they'll be chopping but i won't be but inevitably when we're on the uh, when, when we when any of us take a jump shot it chops right at that point and uh you know it makes it real hard for you to shoot man i just hope they fix it overall so we can really get a true depiction of who is actually hooping out there man up next we got that boy ld2k out there with a little speed but i ain't gonna lie man this is my guy chris manning man hey look at him saying make him dance ah, ah. look at him sprint to the other side pull up drink Headshot, Drake Green Bean, Money Team, man. Y'all boy be talking about L L D two K can't hoop, man. Well, y'all boys is bugging, man. And hey, like I said, this show is gonna be real quick today. We, it's not gonna be very long, so let's just get right into it. Hey, Swante, so we had this clip on yesterday, and Swante saying did they even test this or what have you? And more or less, what you're seeing is a hey, dude getting ripped over and over and over and over and over. This is ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I don't know what they can do about it though, because we already know if they take away the steals or if they even tone steals. Cause I hear a lot of people, you know, they're asking about it in a, in a roundabout way. They're saying, you know, can we can we tone steals down or can we buff unpluckable? And you know, they're asking about it in that way as if if they buff, bluff unpluckable, buff unpluckable, it's not going to inadvertently or actually directly counter steals. Me? Man, they could really take the steals out of the game. Like, like I said, that's why I went with gold badges anyway, because I said either gold badges will be good enough on defense, or they're going to change the, um, they're going to change the steal system anyway, and then they're going to be useless anyway, so it won't matter. So I, I just went with gold this year. But if they could keep the bumping this, let's turn the bumping this up just the two notches or one notch, just ratchet it up a little bit. They could literally take the steals off the game and 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 turn up interceptions a, a tick then I think we'll be balanced, man, because right now, the uh, you know, you 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 can get bumpy, but there are some situations where you cannot get bumpy. And so, uh, and then a lot of times people, they just throw the ball away from the lockdown anyway, or it's a bad pass or stuff like that. Like you literally almost can't intercept the ball unless you like prime time coming from across the field and you can get the most, it's crazy you can get the most dramatic interceptions, but you cannot get the interception. We throw it right at your face. You, he won't even protect himself. The ball just go right through your forehead and then you you got it there. So it is what it is, man. Pause. But yeah, it is what it is. But then he came right back and said this part about it. He says, uh, anyone anyone saying that steel shouldn't, uh, should be how they are, doesn't watch basketball. A big part of basketball is sizing up in front of your defender. People saying people have to run away like football game in NBA 2K is really weird. And then uh, dude said, but spin dribble for 15 seconds, looking at, the, looking at ankle breakers is real. And then he says, uh, I showed you, I showed you clips of IRL, uh, of IRL regardless, in, uh, regardless it barely happens, uh, whatever, uh, what he says, 0 0.012, 2K is uh, offers, the competitive advantage anyway what he's trying to say is you know it really don't happen like that but what i will say is i mean I, I do agree with you i'm not gonna lie to you but i will counter with this you if we can't bring realism into it or real life into it uh because nobody does you can do stuff like that in the game but nobody does it for the entire game you're not going to base your offense around it or anything like that also if you are sizing up in front of somebody in real life you best believe that you must maintain space that's the first thing that's why when people start inching towards you you either back up or you go by them because you have to maintain that space in order to size them up and 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 prepare to go by and uh number three if you dribble right in front of somebody's face in real life they're going to take the ball i don't think people have a concept of how far people are from each other when they are sizing them up nobody's sizing you up within about within about what three feet or something now because because your arm is like, the dude's got feet arms almost five feet long. You, you're gonna have to maintain about three three to four feet in order to size somebody up. And certainly we've never seen people in real life run parallel to the basket back and forth until 
they're able to to get away from their opponent and then uh you know shoot a shot so let's I, I think we should try to keep real life out of it as much as humanly possible but i do understand what he's saying that the steel system it might be it may be a little it needs a little tuning i don't want them to do it though because y'all see what happened when they all they tried to do is just change change all they tried to do is change a superficial number for the uh the slump the shooting slump and that almost broke the entire game so it is what it is man i get what they saying <laughs> it's not real life it's not real life shut the f up shut the f up bro i got what you're saying but y'all act like y'all don't know what will happen if 2k makes these changes y'all and then you know what the bad part is y'all know what will happen if 2k makes these changes that's why y'all asking them to change it so now i can be good again. i can be good again i can go out there and actually be hooping and be good again i ain't talking about swante in 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 particular i'm just talking about the community as a whole bro we know what's gonna happen if they change it bro and you're not gonna be able to get a steal at all the steals that you should be able to get see i'm one of those people that pride myself on one i'm a one reacher i wait until you make a mistake and then i take the ball from you if you make multiple mistakes on multiple possessions i will take the ball multiple times i don't do that but at the same time i understand what they're saying fully that you shouldn't just be a lot of other people they don't do that they just run straight up to the person and press x uh and press square x whatever it is and then they and you know they, they expect to get the steal or in a lot of cases they do it sucks but hey good gotta suffer with the bad up next we got red city boy he's saying uh hey i put my money on god i put my money on it guards are gonna start with 80 i'll uh, start putting 80 layup on the bill it's a fun way to play i'm not gonna lie to you you can't play with that 80 uh that uh 80 layup or what have you but if somebody it, it's cool it's all good but if somebody's down there the only thing that you're really gonna end up hearing is like that's what's going to happen it's still a quick dunk a quick and efficient dunk is still much better than layups because uh but actually it's probably about the same rate of effectiveness now because if somebody's down there you're really not dunking the basketball and if you got the scoop layups and you can do it really quickly you can get it off it might be a fun way to play it might but i'm, I'm just saying i do understand also do understand also that that it's a good way to get your shot blocking. If people down there, it's cool, it's cool as if somebody got high interior down there, but I guess you'd be cognizant of that if uh, if you're playing a team with high interior and, and you would adjust. But then again, this is a 2K community, so they'll just probably complain. Up next, we got my boy TJ. Hey, that's my guy. He says, it's literally no point in use, uh, to use the dribble uh, breakdowns, breakdown combos, the burst out of all of them are non-existent and uh and so red city boy he just says baluba i know people are saying that to buff on pluck them on the steals and this is from yesterday but honestly the burst out of the moves uh for the guards needs to be a little faster that's why everyone is using the same move but like you said bro y'all gonna use the same move regardless when it was faster last year y'all just used the perceived fast one so it is what it is man like i said uh we gonna go we gonna go with it from there up next man let's listen to my boy uh, uh gv uh cap a little bit let's go we got the stop we needed we just couldn't get the rebound you, you know what would help here is if if only i could have some uh ability to steal the ball from him maybe i've had some steel badges and then i remember i do i do have steel badges in fact i made this build specifically with the purpose of steel badges to help get stops versus these guys on the ones but guess really? what i lose all my badge progress every single match i play i lose my badge progress if i don't play a post every single game i lose my badge progress if I'm playing guards that are speed boosting around, flying super fast with Hall of Fame Unplugable, I'm not getting steals. How am I supposed to keep my steal badges versus those kind of guys? I'm not using them. Mm. So then by the time I play this dickhead, okay. I don't have okay. them available and I'm fucked. I've okay. earned right stick ripper 100 times. 100 times I've earned the badge. I, really? I guess I'll just earn it 101st time. I am sure 101 times earning the same badge, what a blast. It'll be almost as fun as the very first time, man. I, I hope I get to earn it 200 times. I, I love re-earning badges, man. What a great idea. And then your boy, hey, your boy, my boy, Zach Timmerman, he just came in and says, cap, cap on, cap off, cap on, cap off, you're capping. And he just says, hey, you don't lose progress ever, ever in 1v1 games, homie. So uh, you don't lose him, you can only gain it. I don't know if you gain it or lose it. Maybe he just, but he just, he didn't say you don't lose it. Uh, you just don't, you just don't gain it. And that's what Extra Nuts saying now. That he says, do you gain it? Um, 
uh you know he's just well curious and then so gb says you definitely gain it because i've got new badges on there so if you want to get your badges maybe that's why non-badges stay full all the time because he really plays the ones so that could be uh could be what it is but he says hey i'm curious if there's a resource somewhere that that can give us the information on you know how you use but lose badges on the ones and twos and all of that uh because he didn't know that ones didn't have any regression but i mean i guess if you looked at it you would man but hey it is what it is man like i said instead of looking at it and finding a solution and seeing what's happening it's much easier for us to complain and just go from there last but not least man we got two things for y'all man let me know what y'all notice in this video right here man because hey I, I ain't gonna lie. This this says uh, Auburn four-star wide receiver Bryce Kane uh, races past the defender on a long TD. And uh, so I'm looking at this, right? And I'm like, huh? Did somebody notice? Yeah, okay. So I'm like, did, did anybody notice what I noticed on that? And then I go down here in the comment section, gone, War Eagle, top 100, <laughs> five, uh, five star. I'm impressed. And then do his... <laughs> That ref got some yams on him. <laughs> I ain't know nobody know the same thing, man. But hey, it is what it is. And then last but not least, man, bro, what is up with this video? They talking about DDG saying somebody snuck in his house and slap the dog shit out of him. Like, who who does something like that, bro? Hey, look, let's listen to DDG. Joke. It's not funny. Bro, like what is this and the smack bro bro oh i did just listen <laughs> did ddg get on <laughs> look man i don't think that that's real it's gotta be fake man like it said two guys broke in the ddg crib and slapped it like bro it's no way that that's real man because like you, you a celebrity or you a you know you're a low celebrity or what have you right you're a celebrity you got an album and stuff like that you gotta have security i know he got at least one dog or two dogs. there's no way anybody could even come into my house without my dogs going crazy. And I ain't got nothing but a chihuahua and a golden doodle. So I know he got some real dogs down there, man. I, I ain't buy, I ain't buying it, but it is funny as hell to see some. <laughs> like they really real life came in that man house and slapped the dog shit out of him while he was asleep. But I don't see how, I, I don't know if anybody can sneak in my house with, uh, you ain't got no alarm or nothing, homie. Like, come on, man. I don't believe that, man. That's gotta be somebody's gonna tell us in the comment section <laughs> what that really is about. But hey, it was funny. So hey, they said the fact that they <laughs> said the fact that they laugh after they smacked him makes it even funnier. It's a skit. <laughs> Either way, it's funny. Hey, look, we know it's gotta be a skit, man. That's gotta be so. I don't know. I don't, like y'all. Let me know what that is, man, because I don't. I don't know what that was from, and I'm I'm clearly behind, but it's just hilarious to see it, man. Anyway, let me know what y'all think time to come. It gotta be a skit because it ain't no way somebody can just sneak in your house and slap you when you're when you that level of celebrity, man. But let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Like the video, make sure we get to 1600, I mean uh uh 200 likes within the first 1500, and I'm gonna holler y'all next time till next time. <laughs> it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Tell. Guys,